This is Karen Ramsey, and I am here in Fort Lauderdale with Don Bennett. And I speak along with Don Bennett and others at the Woodstock Fruit Festival annually. And I'm really excited to have him here to talk to you about iodine. Many people call it iodine, but Don calls it iodine during pregnancy. So Don, can you tell me um, about yourself, your work, and, uh, and a bit about iodine and the fact that many women may need to look into that during pregnancy? Uh, right. Um, my background is that I've been researching health issues for over 40 years, trying to find out what is the healthiest diet for us, how is the, what is the healthiest way to, to live, so that we can be uh, the healthiest we can be throughout our entire lives. In fact, you know, in other words, to have great future health, uh, optimal future health. We all have a genetic ability to be uh, the healthiest we can be. I, I've been researching how to achieve that. And one of the things I've discovered is that to have optimal health your whole life, you need to have, amongst other things, enough of all the nutrients that the body requires for optimal health. Now that's a pretty self-evident statement. We require enough of all the nutrients the body requires for optimal future health. Okay, so how do we get that? Well, eating a, a, an all-raw plant-based, fruit-based, fruit-greens diet is great. It's, it's what we're designed to eat, but it also depends on where and how those fruits were grown and the, and the greens were grown. If it's grown in great soil, well, that's wonderful. But if it's not grown in the greatest of soil, you still may be lacking some nutrients that the body requires for optimal health. And I've, um, I've identified three of what I call the problematic nutrients, the ones that seem to be missing in most people's diets, even in uh, diets of vegans and people eating a raw food diet, and that's vitamins D, B12, and iodine. Now, people used to get that from their processed food diet because their foods were fortified with vitamin D, vitamin B12, and with iodine. You know, iodized table salt people would use in their diets. But when you move away from a fortified, unhealthy diet to a healthy but unfortified diet, now where are you going to get the D and B12 and iodine? Now, D and B12 were never meant to come from food, so that's a whole other issue. You, you need them from the sun, and your body's supposed to make B12. But iodine is probably, of all the food-provided nutrients, the most problematic for people eating healthy diets because it's it's not in the soil the way it once was a long, 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 long time ago. So most of the people that I um, counsel and that I test for iodine are low in iodine. They're just, they're, they have an iodine insufficiency or a deficiency. And one of the things a very low iodine level will do is make it difficult for women to get pregnant. Um, also, if they do get pregnant, uh, if they don't have sufficient amounts of iodine, that baby will not be born with the IQ that it could have had if the mom had sufficient iodine levels when she conceived. And this has been borne out by research. This is fact. This is not opinion. Okay, so to have the healthiest child uh, mentally with the, with the best cognitive function, and we're talking about a difference of uh, about 14 points IQ. 14 IQ points is significant between a mom being very low in IV and a mom having uh, what's called a whole body tissue sufficiency of IV, which most people don't have. So if you're a, a woman who's thinking about getting pregnant, get your IV levels checked out with an IV literate practitioner before conceiving, because it's, it's very difficult to bring up your IV levels after you're pregnant, or when you're pregnant, because when you start bringing up your IV levels, you can cause bromine toxicity within the body. The body starts releasing stored bromine from your previous diet. And that's not good to do while you're pregnant. So the time to normalize your ID levels is before you conceive. And it can mm -hmm. take sometimes a year to get your ID levels up to where they're supposed to be. So this is, um, you know, uh, preconception planning here. Right. And I know that, um, you know, some of the articles that you've written and some of your information that I've read, you know, you talk about bromine and chlorine and, and some of the things that are actually blocking the iodine. Could you just touch on that? Right. In our, in our modern society, not like it was many millennia ago, but today we have all these things that are similar to iodine. So it, it just sounds like it to your ear. Iodine, chlorine, bromine, um, and then there's iodide, chloride, and bromide. These things are very similar in structure to iodine and iodine. And what they do is they, uh, hey, how you doing? 
And, and what these things do is they, they park in the iodine parking spaces in your cells and it crowds out whatever iodine is coming into your body. So it's like a, it's like a perfect storm. You're not getting enough iodine in your diet to begin with, and then the little bit that you do get is being crowded out and can't park in those receptor sites because of the bromine and the chlorine and the fluorine and the fluoride and chloride and bromide in our environment. So that's why it's important to get those things out. Don't swim in chlorinated pools. Stay away from things that, are, that could be brominated. Bread. And, <laughs> oh, yes, obviously bread has, uh, they used to put iodine in, in uh, flour, then they took the iodine out and put bromine in. Now, iodine we require, bromine is toxic to us. So, go figure, why did they do that? It makes you wonder. But anyway, so there, there's a lot to know about it. I have an article on my website, health101.org slash iodine. I uh, spelled iodine, iodine, however you want to spell it, it's spelled the same way. Great, um, and so that's also a good way of people want to get in touch with you on sure. this, they can get in touch with you through your website. Health101.org. Okay, great. Great. Well, thank you so much, Don. That's fabulous information.